We're starting with that piece of veal here. And as you see, that piece of veal is pretty red, which indicates a type of veal often called Western veal, as opposed to what is called sometimes provimi, sometimes milk-fed veal, which refer to a calf which is fed only the mother's milk. That calf here already start grazing, and starting grazing, of course, will give iron to the calf and develop the red in it. Otherwise, the taste really doesn't change much. What we are doing, however, for our type of cooking, I'm removing most of the fat from the top, you know, as you can see here. And we are going to roast that first on top of the stove. But you see, it's important to remove that type of fat. There is also certain farm or your butcher can probably get to you a type of organically raised uh, veal, you know, and you have to pay maybe a little more for it, but it's worth it. So what we are going to do, put a little bit of olive oil in there and a dash of uh, butter. I'm not using much uh, butter, but in that particular case, maybe half a tablespoon here. And on top of the veal, we're putting thyme leaves, you know, all over, home style. Cracked paper on top, freshly ground paper here, all over, just to give it a nice flavor. A bit of salt, and that's about all you want to start with, you know. Then we'll start it browning in there. And we really want to brown it all around, you know, to give it a crust. Often people tell you to brown it around because it will retain the juice inside, and up to a certain extent it does. But mostly the browning is to give, crystallize the juice on top and give not only the color but the taste to the meat. That is the difference between a roasted piece of meat and a boiled piece of meat, you know? Now the veal is still browning. It's a nice piece of veal, about two and a half pounds. And for the garnish of the veal, we are going to use artichokes and onion. We have those tiny, uh, tiny pearl onion here, peel a lot of garlic and artichokes. I have done artichokes already. In that case, there is part of the artichoke which is too tough that you cannot use. So what I'm going to do first is to remove a little bit around the stem. I want to keep the stem also, you see. But there is a, a layer of fiber around which is fairly tough, so I remove it. Okay. Then I remove the end of the artichokes, so that's tough. And around a little bit, the top part, which are really the toughest part, you know. For this, you know, especially in Provence in France, they'll use the tiny artichokes. So that now I can cut it into four pieces and get the inside here, which is your, uh, your choke, you know. That's it, this is what you want to do. Now the artichokes is eatable, I mean the whole thing here. I have some done already this way. So what we are going to do is to put that into our veal. And uh, I'll place the veal outside, put my artichokes in there and tiny onion, a lot of garlic, you want to saute that, you want to make a bed, a bed of vegetable here and place the veal right back on top of it with the juice, you cover it and at that point, I, cook, I could cook that in the oven or on top of the stove. I'm going to leave it on top of the stove to cook it here for about 20 to 30 minutes. So in our veal that we had done, we uh, roasted the veal, we had the sauce, we had the artichoke. The only thing that we want to put next is a bit of tomato to finish the sauce, you know? A little bit of a fresh tomato. And again, you know, talking about organic food, and I am, you know, so, intense and interested in this too. I mean, I have my own garden and I use only organic stuff in my garden. Uh, when you have a fresh tomato coming out of the ground, you know, just out of your garden, it does make a terrific difference. So here, I have a little bit of soy sauce for color, a dash of water 
and the tomato, and that's going to finish our sauce here, make it nice. And the veal has been cooking for quite a while. With the rest, we're going to take our veal out here, like this, and I'm going to slice it directly on the board here. Mm. We have some uh, sauce that we'll put in the bottom of it. Again, that time of homemade dish, you know, the tomato are in there, artichokes bottom, the whole thing. This is really type of food that you like to be sitting around the table with the whole family and enjoyed, you know. It has that type of warmth, you know, that type of color also, you know. So, some of this, a little bit of uh, my veal on this side. A couple of slices, I like to bring it to the table this way. I mean, the whole uh, roast, you know, with maybe a couple of slices in front of it. It's really in the bourgeois, bourgeois style, you know. Some herb, here I have beautiful chervil that I put on top, a bit all over. And here we have our roast of veal for our home dinner.